Today I'm going to show you how to create a really cool light leak effect in Photoshop and I've got my two demo photos here so let's get to it. First thing you want to do is go down here and create a new adjustment layer and you want to find gradient. Give that a click and you can see we have our gradient here and let's go to the angle because we're going to make it a vertical standing light leak make it zero so we have it standing straight up and next we want to go into the gradient here give that a click this little window will pop up we want to make sure that this color right here is on black so if it's not black you can go here and just make sure you're on black and this one is on black too now we can go to the top pins here and give those a click and let's bring it right about there i'm going to add a couple of these you'll see why in a moment so I've got three pins there. Now this one on the far left, I give that a click and go down to opacity. Drop that to zero and there you can see we got our image back. And what I'm gonna do here is fine tune these a little bit more. So I'm gonna add one more pin and I'm gonna grab some of these here and just change the opacity a little bit. because so we're gonna make some sort of lines going through. So I'm happy with that right now. I'm going to hit OK. And now we hit OK there. Next, you want to go to the blending mode here and go to screen. And that should make it disappear. So there we go. We don't have anything coming through. Next thing we want to do is go down here again and make a new adjustment layer. Same thing, gradient. And now this black hazy part here, I'm just going to flip it. We could go reverse or we could just hit this dial and kind of maybe put it on an angle here because this is going to be the color of the light leak. Now we go back into our gradient and let's pick some colors here. I'm going to go with like a red, hit OK, go here, change the color and let's give it a bit of a yellowy kind of look here. Hit OK, OK on the gradient editor and hit OK there. Now this is where the magic comes in. We've got two gradient layers we want to attach the two together. Usually it's this little button here, but we can't do that. But if you hold down the Alt key on a PC or Option key on a Mac, we're gonna hold that down and then hover in between and you can see that little arrow drop down right there. So once you get that symbol showing up, give it a click and there we go. So now I'm just gonna group these together and there's our really cool light leak effect. Once you have that done, you can always open it back up and we're going to go change kind of the way it's laid out here. So I'm going to go back into this gradient, into the gradient map here, move it off to the side and then we can play with it to really kind of change the effect. There we go there. So I'm going to maybe drop another pin in there and change the opacity down there. So we get another band coming through. And with this one, I'm going to tighten it up so these little sliders here, you can bring it in and you can see that really changes it there. So let's go okay on that. Okay there. There we go. You can do all kinds of different cool things. Use different colors on the second gradient. If you guys want to get some cool light leak Photoshop actions, you can check out the photo flow from Preset Pro. Go under Photoshop and there's all kinds of different light leaks here. Let's test one out. There we go. There's a nice banding effect. So that was a quick look on how to create light leak effects in Photoshop. Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.